Uh, we see fly tips quite a lot when we're out and about. Um, if not directly a member of the team, they get reported by a member of the public, I'd say several times a week, if not almost daily. The types of waste we come across varies quite widely, but it can be anything from sort of 40 mattresses on a sort of commercial scale to um, a truckload of tyres. Green waste is quite a common one. Um, some kind of domestic waste, builders waste, that kind of thing. The New Forest is really, really special and has all these wonderful habitats and it has free roaming livestock, it has wildlife. And so the fly tips, not only is it unsightly, but it can cause massive, massive harm to these precious, special habitats. When I am out and about as a ranger, out in the New Forest, it, it makes me feel really sad and upset because of the way that fly tips can affect the wildlife, the habitats that are here. Well, obviously a lot of people see fly tips and they think it looks unsightly and it sort of ruins their day out, but more than that, it actually is quite harmful to the environment. So we've had big canisters of oil dumped before that's leaked out and obviously if that gets into the water courses, that can be quite harmful to some of the um, plants and wildlife that we have here in the New Forest. If we have green waste and it gets eaten by any of the livestock, that can cause a real health issue. They can colic, they could potentially die. Um, really harmful, toxic plants that kind of taken from people's gardens where they're not causing that much of an issue but out here in the natural environment it's not where it's supposed to be it's not a native species um, things like asbestos as well dumped really hazardous to, to human health so we don't want people coming for their family picnic and being surrounded by hazardous material like that uh, on forestry england land we would pay for that fly tip to be removed so there is quite an impact to the public um, as well in terms of that money should be being spent uh, invested in the landscape of the New Forest in conservation of this amazing place and instead it's having to be diverted into clearing up things like asbestos and roofing materials. As the ranger teams we're out and about engaging with people on a daily basis all the time. When we have a fly tip we try to put a notice up or hazard tape. Um, we have signage in a lot of our car parks telling people that it is an offence and encouraging people to make sure that if they are disposing of waste that they're checking those waste carrier licences and using responsible companies. To try and combat the, the fly tipping that we have in the New Forest, we've got a great um, multi-agency approach to a partnership operation that we conduct in um, some of the village town centres, diverting vehicles that potentially could be carrying waste. So today the police are here, the National Park Authority are here, Forestry England are here and FOSA and we're targeting fly tipping and waste carriers predominantly today so we'll stop anyone that fits that demographic and then we'll look at the safety of the vehicle, whether they've got waste carriers licences if they're carrying waste and then also we can look at other offences if they are committing them today and deal with them robustly. The joint working is necessary because fly tipping doesn't just affect the police to deal with. We're getting a lot of fly tipping in the New Forest area at the moment which is looked after by Forestry England and the National Park Authority so with a bit of joined up thinking we're working together to try and tackle that issue um, and, and reduce the impact on the environment, the impact on the public purse because it costs a lot of money to clear up fly tipping and also with the police is to target those people that are using the vehicles illegally and carrying waste illegally to hopefully prevent it happening in the future. It's really important for us to work with these other organisations so that we know what's going on in and around the forest so that we can contact Forestry England and report a fly tip, for example, as part of my job being out on the forest so that we can get it dealt with as quick as possible. I think it's having an impact. We stopped over 200 vehicles last year and dealt with 50 vehicles for various offences. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it is working. If you've got waste that you need to be removed um, and taken away, then please check who you're asking to do that and ensure that if you're you're paying someone to take your waste away that they have got the appropriate waste carriers license um, and then that will reduce the likelihood of that person then tipping that waste illegally in the new forest or elsewhere um, within hampshire itself fly tipping is a criminal offense that we can deal with fly tipping in the new forest itself is a hazard to the the people that come to the new forest to enjoy it it affects the wildlife and damages the wildlife and the animals and it's just a general nuisance and expensive to clear up once it's been dumped we really like the public's help. If there is waste that needs to be taken away, they can go onto the Environment Agency website and they can double check if the person they're employing or asking or paying to take the waste away are lawfully doing so with the appropriate licence.